morning, guys. Uh, John back with Snake or Fly. Uh, we're going to tie a Hydro Hackle Moorish Mouse variant. Um, to start off with, this is an Allen number no. 4 B200 bass fly, um, bass hook. Then I have um, for the tail, this is just some micro chenille that I had laying around. Uh, and then for the legs, it is Snake River Fly uh, material. This is a the mango rubber legs. I like this color contrast for the legs. And then I'm going to do their long cut hydrohackle in gray uh, for the body material. And then I have some two sheets of um, two millimeter foam that I glued together. And that's going to be my top foam piece. So let's get started. So to start with, I'm going to tie in my tail. Let's take a piece of this here. Stiff. So I'm going to take these uh, two, this piece of material and I'm just going to twist the heck out of it. I'm going to just make a, fur, a furled tail. You know, this snaps right together when you ferrule it. You've got those good and twisted up. Tie that bad boy in. And right, I'm gonna take a piece of this here foam. This is about what three quarters of an inch wide strip that I'm cutting out of this foam. Like I said, this is two different colors of foam, the tan and the dark, together there. Uh, the reason I do the two pieces of foam stacked like this, and you don't have to glue them, I just like how they stay together for me when I time in. Uh, this is kind of a heavy fly, and I want to be able to actually float well. Um, I'm also using uh, Simplify Nano Silk for this when I tie with two pieces of foam. I'm really, as you can see, I'm really reefing on this and I don't want to pop that thread just to get it bound down real quick. All right, and then here comes the tedious part of this fly. You don't actually have to do that. Um, it fishes just as well either way. But I'm a lake guy, so I'm just grab four of these mango feet or legs to create the feet. So I'm just gonna throw a oops, let's try that again. Just throw an overhand knot in these. Make legs. Oops. Try that again. And I'll just X these in. Even them up real quick. All right, then I'll grab my hydro hackle, which I set right there. I love how bushy this stuff is and just it just moves. And there's a little flash in it, but not too much. I've never seen a bejazzled mouse, but I'm sure there's one out there somewhere. I'm gonna run this up to about where I want to tie in that second pair of legs. It's gonna be somewhere nearest. Just start working these fibers back. The cool thing is with this long cut, I'll be able at the end before I pull this foam over, I'll be able to pull most of these fibers down so that I get even more bulk down on the bottom, more stuff moving, just enticing those fish, calling them up to see if we can't get them to come up and snack on something a little bigger. Um, so I'll just keep wrapping forward.
his hydro hackle off. And if you'll notice, there's one very important thing you'll learn is, um, if you're new to fly tying, and that is the position of your tongue while you're tying. It has to be hanging out the side of your mouth somewhere. Whether it's the right or the left side, it doesn't matter. But you need to learn tongue position. It's key. Very key. All right, I'm going to grab another four strands of these laser legs and the mango. You hear Larry. Let's try this again. I'd be out fishing right now, except we got some nasty thunderstorms coming, rolling through, so we'll tie bugs instead. Well, that's aggravated. Too strong. Yarg, pulling too hard. There we go. This front leg's just gonna be a little shorter, that's all. T-Rex mouse, just like your shirt. There we go, yarg. As the shirt says, you row, row, oh wait. these bad boys in there. And start pulling some stuff down. Dividing it out. Just pulling it straight down so it gets to where I want it. There. And then just really clamp down on that piece of foam. Hard enough to pull your thread right out of your bobbin. Let's try this again. Finish this bad boy off. And just because I'm superstitious, we'll do two. And then we'll trim the front of these free so that my mouse has fingers. Just going to trim a little bit off this front piece of foam, but I want to leave it a little long. And if you see it's pointing up, that way it'll really move water as it comes across. All right, then I'm just going to add a dab of super glue there up here in the front. Maybe it will. And that right there is the hydro hackle variant of the Moorish Mouse. If you want to, you can come in here and trim up some stuff. I don't. I like to leave it long. More movement, more action, keeping the, the fish excited about what they're seeing. And thanks for watching. Have a great day, guys.